हेलो एवरी वन एंड वेलकम बैक इन द इन दिस वीडियो विल बी कवरिंग वॉट इज द ज्यूरी स्टेबिलिटी एंड इट इज बेसिकली यूज टू फाइंडिंग आउट वेदर द गिव इन ट्रांसफर फंक्शन इज स्टेबल और नॉट सो फॉर दैट वी हैव द फॉलोइंग कंडीशंस टू फाइंड आउट वेदर द सिस्टम इज स्टेबल और नॉट सो द it is usually given that p of z is equal to a0 z raised to n plus a1 z raised to n minus 1 and so on where a0 is always greater than 0 it will never be negative and it is always greater than 0 okay from this equation we form what is called as a jury table it is similar to the raut hurwitz array in the s plane in the z plane it is referred to as a jury table in this we uh, write the number of rows and the columns will be z raised to 0 z raised to 1 z raised to 2 till z raised to n in the same format okay and uh, whatever are the coefficients of the similar ones are written down below like this style uh, the equation is written in from z raised to n to z raised to 0 over it is written from z raised to 2 z raised to n so it will be uh, the equation is written in this format and we'll be writing it in this format in the jury table in the reverse way So we'll be starting from a raised to n, a uh, n, a n minus one, a n minus two till a zero. The second row will be the reverse of that. When the first term is a n, the last term is a zero. Over here, the first term will be a zero and last term will be a n, and in that order, that is a zero, a one, a two till a n. Okay. Now we need to decide how many rows will we will be required. The total number of rows depends on the uh, order of the z, the highest order of the z given in the particular equation. The formula for that is given as 2n minus 3. If z, n is equal to 4, then 2 into 4, 8 minus 3, 5. So total number of rows will be 5. So it will be only till here. So that depends on the question that uh, how much is the order of the given transfer function. Well, before we even plot the jury table, we need to decide whether the given transfer function is Uh, is satisfying some of the conditions so that we can form the jury table and find the stability of the transfer function for that some uh, we have some uh, stability conditions the top 3 are also called as the pre jury table stability conditions and the next are post jury stability conditions post jury table stability conditions first three we'll look into them First condition says that a of n mod of a of n should be always less than a of zero. We know that a of zero is always positive, so there is no need to give a mod to a zero. A of n can be positive or negative. We want that a of n, the mod of a of n, should always be less than a of zero. Next, we have the uh, transfer function. If we put the value of z is equal to one, the value of the transfer function should be greater than zero. P of z when z is equal to one should be greater than zero. the next condition depends on the order if the order is even then when we put z equals to minus 1 the value should be greater than 0 and if the order is odd then the value should be less than 0 these are the conditions which we check before we form the jury table if this conditions are satisfied then only we can form the jury table otherwise uh, the system is not stable and the jury table will not be formed now even after we find the jury table we need to check that the b of n minus 1 should be greater than b of 0 then c of n minus 2 should be greater than c of 0 and so on even these values should be satisfied the mod of that mod of b of n minus 1 should be greater than b of 0 it's reverse of what we see in a in a a of 0 should be greater than a of n but for b c and the all of the other terms the last term should be greater than the first term Okay, let us look at the sum and understand it more properly. We have been given a transfer function which is given as z raised to four minus one point two z raised to three plus point zero seven z square plus zero point three z minus zero point zero eight. First, we'll check the pre uh, jury table stability conditions. First condition is a of n mod of a of n should be less than a of zero. A of n is minus zero point zero eight. Mod of it will be zero point zero eight. It is less than one. So this is true. Next. We say that p of z should be greater than zero for z is equal to one. So we'll put z is equal to one in the above condition and check what we get the p of z's value. We get zero point zero nine, which is greater than zero. So this condition is also satisfied. Last condition says that when we put z is equal to minus one, it should be greater or less than zero depending on the order. 
now the uh, highest order is 4 so it is an even number so p of z should be greater than 0 even when we put z is equal to minus 1 so we'll put z is equal to minus 1 and we get 1.89 which is greater than 0 so this condition is also satisfied therefore we can form the jury table now to form the jury table we can write the first row and second row but what about the third row that is b's value we cannot write that value we need to find what is b of n minus 1 n minus 2 n minus 3 till b0 okay so before that let us decide how many rows are required so total number of rows required will be 2n minus 3 which is nothing but 2 into 4 minus 3 which is equal to 5 rows so we need 5 rows 1 2 3 4 5 z is to 0 1 2 3 4 as per the question okay first we'll write a n uh, a4 a3 a2 a1 a0 a0 a1 a2 a3 a4 okay now these values are done now what about the rest of the values for that we have a formula b of k that will be any k that k represents any of these values it is equal to a n and a0 it is a determinant of a n a0 and a n uh, minus 1 minus k and a k plus 1 this is a bit complicated so let us remember it in a better manner let us say this is the value we need to find that is b of n minus 1 its determinant will be these two values its determinant will be a n a0 and last term if it is b of n minus 2 then it is a n a0 and the last second last terms if it is b of n minus 2 then the first term and the second last term if it is the third term then the third last term uh, if it is second last term then second term last term then first term okay so in the same way i have written b of 3 is equal to a4 a0 a4 a0 and a0 a4 first and the last term for this value it is the determinant of that that's the value if we say for b2 for b2 it will be the a n a0 that is uh, a4 a0 and the second last term because there's a second term so second last term third term so third last term uh, last term so z1 so that's the value where it will end b3 b2 b1 b0 now uh, how many b's will be required it will go from k is equal to 0 to n minus 1 now n is 4 so it will go till 3 so we will get b3 b2 b1 and b0 for c it will go from k is equal to 0 to n minus 2 so it will go from c2 c1 c0 ok so similarly for c0 it is the same manner if it is uh, if it is c0 that is c of uh, c0 is the last term so if it is c0 so for c0 what we uh, oh, sorry it's over here this is c0 so for c0 what we get b of n and b of n uh, 0 and the last two terms for this value we have these two this and this and for this term we have this and this in the similar manner i have written all of that okay it's very simple it's nothing complicated nothing of that sort after we get all of these values we cross check the post jury table stability conditions that b0 should be less than b3 and c0 should be less than c2 those two are also true so we they say that the entire system is stable okay well, we have another question in which we have been given the transfer function we, it is also given that the transfer function is stable now it is said that to, we need to find of the uh, range of k for which the entire system will be stable okay we know the transfer function is nothing but g of z upon 1 plus g of z h of z which is the nominal transfer function that we know with a unity feedback of 1 okay so from that the p of z which is always given in the question it is nothing but the denominator the p of z is always in the denominator if it is given a question in such that it is like this a transfer function is given okay if a transfer function is given so we need to equate only the denominator the denominator will be equal to p of z okay so we are equating the denominator we are finding what is the value of the denominator and based on that that is my p of z this is my p of z okay now the highest uh, is 2 uh, the highest order is 2 so i have 2n minus 3 that is 1 n is 2 2 into 2 4 minus 3 1 so i have only one row in my jury stability table now well, why i am doing all this because i need to find the value of k and i can find the value of k using the jury table now I know the there is only one row, so this will become uh, a n a n uh, a n and a zero. So based on that, I have 
ए टू ए वन एंड ए जीरो ओके ना वी नीड वी नीड वी नो दैट दीज आर द स्टेबिलिटी कंडीशन सो आई बी यूजिंग द फर्स्ट टू कंडीशन बेस्ड ऑन दैट आई विल प्रूव द रेंज ऑफ के द फर्स्ट कंडीशन दैट आई एम यूजिंग इज वेन वी पुट जेड इज इक्वल टू वन माई पी ऑफ जेड शुड बी ग्रेटर दैन जीरो सो आई एम सॉल्विंग दैट एंड आई एम फाइंडिंग द रेंज ऑफ के आई गॉट दैट के शुड बी ग्रेटर दैन जीरो ओके कैलकुलेशन इज वेरी सिंपल दर इज नथिंग एनीथिंग कॉम्प्लिकेटेड इन दैट द सेकेंड कंडीशन इज दैट ए ऑफ एन शुड बी ग्रेटर दैन ए ऑफ जीरो माई ए ऑफ एन इज दिस माई ए ऑफ जीरो इज दिस सो ए ऑफ एन शुड बी लेस देन ए ऑफ जीरो सो दिस शुड बी लेस देन वन सो आई फाउंड द मैक्सिम वैल्यू ऑफ के सो आई गॉट द रेंज दैट के शुड बी लेस देन जीरो के शुड बी ग्रेटर दैन जीरो एंड लेस देन टू पॉइंट थ्री नाइन थ्री That's it. There's nothing much uh, in this. All you need to do is find the stability conditions. The next topic that I'm covering is the steady state error. I've uh, not covered much uh, sums or something of that. I've just covered the theory of this. This will uh, be more useful in the root locus. I've already posted a video of that. Even in that, I've uh, covered this. But uh, this will also be used in the, the deadbeat response, which will be my next video. so in that we'll be requiring this uh, steady state errors so for that i'm covering it beforehand so we have uh, three types of systems in steady state errors the one is type 0 type 1 and type 2 type 0 is also called as the position error constant uh, type 1 is called as the uh, velocity error constant and type 2 is called as the acceleration error constant okay position error constant is called as kp a velocity error constant is called as kv and acceleration error constant is called as ka we need to find these values okay in position error constant the input is always the unit step input for velocity the input is always unit ramp input and for uh, acceleration error constant the input is always parabolic input okay so the uh, there are particular transfer functions that is the input transfer function in z plane is given by for unit step input it is z upon z minus 1 okay for type 0 system and the input is z upon z minus 1 because it is a unit step input so my steady state error is nothing but 1 upon 1 plus kp where kp is nothing but limit z tends to 1 gh of z as per the question given we will put the value over here and we will find the value of kp we will put it in e of uh, ess and we'll get the value of steady state error for that particular transfer function similar in type 1 system my uh, Input in z plane is nothing but t z upon z minus one the whole square which is nothing but the unit uh, ramp input. My ESS will be one upon k v, where k v is equal to one upon t limit z tends to one z minus one into g h of z. For type two system there is an acceleration error constant. My input is parabolic input, uh, for which the transfer function is given as t square z plus one into z upon two into z minus one the whole cube. Okay. so for that my ess is nothing but 1 upon ka that is the steady state error is 1 upon ka where k is nothing but 1 upon t square limit z tends to 1 z minus 1 the whole square is gh of z okay i have written the table if it is a type 0 system and they have said to fire, find the uh, ess for step input ramp input and parabolic input so for type 0 system the step input is 1 upon uh, for step input we have ess is equal to 1 upon kp for ramp and parabolic it will be infinity For type one system, uh, the ESS will be zero for st uh, step input. For ramp input, it will be one upon kb, and for parabolic input, it will be infinity. ESS will be infinity. I am talking about ESS over here. This table is depicting what will be the value of ESS if we have a step input or a ramp input or a parabolic input for a particular system of type zero, type one, or type two. Okay. For type two system, if the input is step input or ramp input, the output uh, ESS will be zero. and if it is parabolic input then ess will be 1 upon ka if you have any doubts in this you can uh, comment in the comment section below and uh, i'll be posting a pdf of the same in the description uh, i'll be posting a link in the description for the uh, jury stability and the steady state error i'll be posting a link which will have a pdf of this as well thank you very much